Hey, 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 hey. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, or good morning, depending on where in the world you are watching our show. We've got somebody in the top corner. And it's not a gif, is it that? No, it's this way now. Yeah. Look at that. Say hello. Hello, Stuart. Hi, everyone. Hi, Keith. Hi, Dom. Are you all right? Uh, we are absolutely fantastic. How are you in sunny Wales? It's uh, it's um, raining, as usual. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a bit like a, a word disassociation. Yes. Two words that don't go together. Sunny and, and Wales. Wales. Actually, no, I, tell her, I, was, I was there um, a, a month or so ago, and it was absolutely glorious for a good half an hour, and then it rained. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was standard. It's a bit standard. like when I go to Scotland. It's, it's kind of like uh, Seattle, but a bit wetter. <laughs> yes, and there's less uh, Grey's anatomy there. Someone's just yeah, lost that's... points in the chat for saying that. Yeah, yes, absolutely. <laughs> and less Starbucks. Uh... <laughs> yeah, a bit less Starbucks. What, in, in Seattle? <laughs> yeah, in yeah. Wales. I think oh, we've right, got one okay. that we. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sylvia's saying there on, uh, over on Facebook, it's nice and sunny day there in Florida. I'm sure oh. it is. I'm, I'm sure it is. I don't miss it at all, Sylvia. I don't miss it at all, really. I, I don't. don't know. I don't know. Hey, yeah. hey, what, what are Barbara's we... Barbara's asking for rain in California. If... We can send you some. we got bags we of this got stuff. we got loads bags of it. Bags of it. Stuart's got some spare as well. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Every single day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just pop it in a parcel and we'll send it out there. Look at this. Look at this new merch. Oh, look at, yes. Oh, we, we, the, uh, the, the, we're on the link. Yeah, it's, it's quicker with the link. N Nicole yeah. Gregg should use that. That would work great for her design. Would be. That's not what I meant. I mean, I know. The, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I want to know new... how you guys get the t-shirts and I don't. Well, there's, it's you've not... got to be in the know. Yeah, it's not what Stuart. you know. It's who you know. Absolutely. Or what you know about who you know. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. That that dirt we have on Mr. Q, it just, <laughs> it just keeps the merch flowing as well. As and it, first of all, I'd just like to say cheers to everybody. Cheers, uh, cheers. Apparently, Stuart's given up drinking tea as well, so he's going to get have. kicked out of yes. the he's going to get kicked out of the UK soon because that's not allowed. So is it is it <laughs> cutbacks, Stu? Because I noticed there was a cutback yesterday. There was a cutback yesterday. Yeah. Oh yes. It's like about like a twenty percent cutback. You're doing? I've noticed. Can you remember, <laughs> Stuart? Stuart? Stuart going, what what's what, he saying? What what? <laughs> Can you remember, Stuart, you know, when there was a special announcement that was mm. made? Mm. And you sent me some messages about my spelling. Can you remember that? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> yes. Well, did you notice that on your special <laughs> announcement yesterday that you were going them. to tell the them? <laughs> yes, the, the them. them. <laughs> the them. Oh, it made us so happy. Dom was sending me messages going, look, we got it. We can get them back. <laughs> I actually said someone's going to notice that and point it out to me. Yeah, cheers, uh, guys. Yeah, well, you're welcome. The first three welcome. seconds, I like, get in. We've got dirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was a great announcement. I hope them understood it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's a ton of people in the chat on both sides of uh, over on Facebook and on YouTube, um, which we'll try and monitor. So if you do have any questions while we go through this for Stuart, um, about uh, anything to do with the Balloon Wonderland, the politics event that's coming up in July next year. Um, yes. That's what we're here for. It'll be here sooner than you think. It will be because there's something special happening tomorrow. There is. Is that right? Is there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the registration opens 8 a.m. Uh, CST, yes. Central Standard Time. Yes, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, which uh, is about. Well, it's a five hours in front. So is that about one o'clock UK time or something? Sounds about right. Six hours in front. So uh, yeah, it'd be um, two o'clock in the afternoon. Two o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is going to be um, probably an event sale like no other, I think. Yes. Because we haven't had a lot of events, certainly on the big scale, for so long, and it's quite a different and unique event as well. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Like so, no. Yeah, other. it's absolutely unique. Yeah. I absolutely think... unique, guys. I think all the things will align to this one will, I imagine, sell out pretty fast because people had already allocated in their diary an event yes, uh, the, the you know, for Balloon the World Balloon Convention. Convention, preparing to travel to that location. So that's kind of got a lot of people interested already. Yeah. 
yes, it's a, it's a big disappointment, you know, us included, that the World Balloon Conventions had to be postponed, and we understand why. And this is a brilliant way to fill it. And it's not a stopgap event. It's not a downgraded event. It's no. something quite special and unique. Oh, it is. And it's not something that necessarily will be repeated. repeated. So, yeah, it's I, a, think I think 300... It's all... Yeah, <laughs> the 300 are very lucky. It's like going to be like the Spartans. <laughs> oh, we could have... Oh, is that what you're do gonna, it! You're gonna, you That's what you're doing! Thing. Could have done the Spartans What do you think and... my captain and my captains? And, yeah. <laughs> you could have, uh, yeah, you could have done there right. in the hot gates. We are, so, we are so filming something when we're in the US. This is Sparta! <laughs> <laughs> totally. Not that I got get... a beard for it as well. So. And we've yeah. got the bodies for it too! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah! Yeah! Somewhere under here, we have. <laughs> somewhere. 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 Somewhere under it's here. Totally there. It's a, apparently the camera adds several pounds. We have a few cameras due to Anthony Lena in the chat says, great job with the video yesterday, Stuart. Talking about the thems made me so excited. <laughs> 100%, he says, 100%. Cheers, Anthony. Yes. You're going to pay for go. that one. Yeah. <laughs> we may. We may. He, he, Anthony's one of the... Uh, the, the captain, captain. He's one of the captains and one of the designers as well. So, yeah, I'm uh, excited to be working with so, Anthony. Just to remind us, what how how is the order of the ranking go? What's the what's the breakdown? Because we've got is it team captain then? Right, first so of we all, got Q corner, right, and then. <laughs> well, no, you guys are at the bottom. Oh, so, you know, we got your papers. <laughs> it, your papers the wrong way up. Trust me, we're all over. We won't be just at the bottom. We'll be all over. <laughs> where, but you, where got, you guys are going to be right in the middle of the build. Yes. We, I think we put in your studio right in smack in the middle of the build. That's so right. Because that's apparently gonna be that exciting. way we, we can't hide then. <laughs> no. I think where that's we are. what uh, Susan said to me. She wanted to make sure that you couldn't run away. <laughs> yeah, or they can keep an eye on us because uh, then we can't be up to our tricks. That's but, right. Yeah. <laughs> Little we'll does she see. know. So, yeah, so... You but, uh, sorry, sorry. So we got that. myself and LaDonna. LaDonna's the associate producer, LaDonna Belcher, who, and she's got, a, you know, 30 well, years of experience in the industry. Um, she's amazing. She runs the production team for the yes. World Balloon Convention um, and for the next World Balloon Convention, I would suggest, as well. It's so, one of those uh, people and then we got the, but she, I think you did a post the other day about LaDonna, how much she's been yeah. involved with, but just quietly goes by unassuming well which is why she got the gold award at the yes. last world balloon convention as well because she is such an inspiration she is yes yeah, she's amazing and her organizational skills are just uh, immense um yep. so that's a, a bonus for me um but yeah we got uh then we got the captains so we got four uh six main designers who are going to be um dante um jackie ochoa um anthony lena and Sarah Mayer, and also we got Eve Antonello and Cam Woody working with myself to uh, create a large part of the designs. Um, and they are also going to be captains um, during the build. Yeah. Um, so we've got about 24 captains. Don't ask me to name all 24. No, no, we're about to ask that next. Yeah. No, no, we won't. <laughs> I'll ask you for 12 of them. Thank and you. I'll ask for the other 12. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we got a, we got an amazing crew of captains. So yeah, um, it, Alex Ventura, um, who oh Alex as well as the amazing Canada. ones. Okay, yeah, yeah, she's in the chat at the moment. She's Hello, watching. Alex. She's probably watching you. So she is. She's on the chat at the moment. moment. That's why I said it. <laughs> it's, she she came in a little bit later than everyone else. So she, I'm sure she'll catch up soon. She will catch up soon. Yes. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. been so we got Derek Wong, Sylvia Santos, Jill uh, Shortreed, Scott Shortreed, uh, Liz Romani. Uh, Carolyn Truby, Amanda Armstrong, Anne McGovern, um, Billy Damon, Michael Creighton, Peyton Westfall, Darren Huffman, um, and Kerry Ferguson from Pioneer Europe as well. Yeah. Thank you goodness were, for that list. I was going to say, yeah. he, he looked like he was trying to remember it there. It's like, but he wasn't reading that up just off the side there at all. Yeah. <laughs> blame you. I got two you. monitors and all yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, trust, you want to see what it looks like in our studio at the moment because it's uh, we do the same thing, buddy. <laughs> that's right. I mean, that's an absolute wealth of information uh, from all those different people, which is fantastic. Um, I know we were talking about it a little bit before about um, the delegates going, yes. how they're going to get, and I think it's been asked as well, how, how they're going to get allocated to these different um, teams and, uh, and, the, and the like. Okay, so um, I, know, I know, Dom, you said this is going to be unique, but I truly think this will be unique in the oh. balloon industry 
we got 300 delegates, 24 captains, and we're also going to have 24 team leaders as well that will work with the captains. Um, and that's going to take some organization um, in <laughs> yeah. one extremely large room building uh, an unbelievable wonderland. So we're going to have to organize people early on uh, after registration into groups. Um, yes. And the key thing about when they, they, they're organized, they're not going to be you know, with just with one captain or one team leader. Um, yeah. They will be, as a group, swapping with different captains, different oh, team fantastic. leaders who've got yeah. different specialisms, different skills. So there's no need to worry about, I'm going to be trapped on just making background decor. Every section, every part of the, the theme build is going to have large scale builds. It's going to have background decor. It's going to have detailed um, balloon modeling. It's going to be using um, non balloon material as well. So I, that's why Eve Antonello and Cam Modi are involved. They're, they're amazing at creating some of that kind of fantastical elements that you see on well, centerpieces. Well, they pieces. tend to recycle a lot of beer cans and stuff from the office. <laughs> I don't know where they get them all from, but, you know, they are masters of recycling. <laughs> well, Eve showed me a Budweiser bottle and the saying, what can we do with this? And yeah. I was like, I don't know. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, you put it with the three bottles of Jack Daniels and we started. <laughs> anyway, um, but that, but Luke's, that... Luke's in. Um, you and hi, the boys. We've got hi from Puerto Rico um, and all over. I do think that's hi, a guys, fantastic to element all. to it, though, and, and very, very important to the delegates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, they're getting yeah. to experience because I know you see a lot of the large builds sometimes that people say, "Oh, I was part of that project," but actually, unfortunately, they had to do seven thousand two sixty Qs double stuff. Or, and... or, or um, <laughs> on the last one, we uh, did the Q boom for the explorers for the final party and things, and having to do all of the um... yeah, yeah, there's some of the small details, and they are very important. Yeah. But sometimes when you're part of the team feel like oh i've missed out on some of the other elements or some of the other learning points yeah. but the fact that yeah. some of those groups are going to be kind of swapped around and interchanged based on skill sets and you know who who's yeah. needed for what it's brilliant because they get to experience more of it and actually when they look back at the video and the photos and all that social media they can truly say that they were part of that on a on a bigger Definitely. bigger and better scale than ever before Definitely. And from my experience of running like the big balloon builds and um, understanding that people want to be involved in multiple elements and just not inflating balloons. This, this you know, hide no bones about it. You are going to be inflating a lot of balloons, every single person <laughs> no who's doubt. there. Um, but when you, the, the, one of the great things that I think, and I've been to multiple conventions, is you, 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 you shown something, but then you don't have time to perfect that technique. And then suddenly you try to revisit it three months later and it's like, yes, it, it, how did that it, work? This one, you're going to be told, shown something. shown and embedded straight away. Yeah. This will be embedded into your mind over a period of two or three hours. Yeah. And you will never forget how to do that technique. You will then in the afternoon move on to a totally different technique. But yeah. as a group, you are going to be collectively building this this greater piece, and you've got the you've yeah. got the the build team guys there, the team captains and the like as well to keep yeah. them on track. So you know if people's learning curves are at different rates, so yeah. it means you've got the ability there to be able to help individuals and really help them kind of elevate their skills as well as well as the other people around them. Because as we know, there's a lot of um, you know learning from just being with other delegates as well as a wealth of information within that 300 so yeah i know there's massively a and yeah sorry massively. there was a questions about some merch stuff so the links are now on both facebook and on youtube in the chat there's a link to the merch page because you can uh, buy it now yes Stuart. you can order your stuff now you could order it now. Seen, no. i could know. have ordered it couldn't i you could have done <laughs> or i could seen. find out who's sending you all this stuff and ask them yeah, it's called it's Mr. called Q. the internet. <laughs> but yes, I, I do, no, I do. You think can love my is... digital backdrop, guys. Yes, yes, it's nice, yeah. beautiful green screen. Yeah, <laughs> it's. Um, I, I, I wanted do... to give. I wanted to give a kind of like a workspace look to it. Right. right. I, I mean, it doesn't look like you've well, worked. People, it. It, it is just a green screen there, and I just wanted to kind of give. <laughs> yeah, like, that's what we thought. Like I am in a workshop. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's one of them virtual <laughs> backgrounds. We understand. It's fine. <laughs> he virtually he's actually, he's actually in the pub. It is, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I do anticipate that this is going to be a pretty fast sellout. Yeah. So if you are interested in going, uh, we, we do, you know, we're not just seeing it as a, oh, yeah, no, we want to sell tickets. That's got nothing to do with us. But I know there's been a few people talking that they want to go. And, you know, ourselves included, we say something, then forget to follow through and then get disappointed when we've missed out. This is all. Yeah, they, they won't be in. They won't be an extension on the numbers. The, yeah. There's 300 places, and there's that's it. Yeah. Um, the, the event just wouldn't be able to cope with more than 300 places. Yeah, it's a very not, specific not number. Not for us to give on... the level of, yeah, the level of interaction that we're going to have. The, there's going to be one captain, team leader to about six delegates, which is an amazing ratio. Yeah. Um, yes. You know, you'll never see that in any, you know, class or convention. Um, and it's going to be needed because people are going to be picking up different techniques and being organized to create this gigantic wonderland. Um, is it yeah, going to be, I, I think the places will fill fast. Dog. Is it going to be yeah, mul multiple teams for certain areas or is it a team per area or has that not been worked we, out? It, it'll, be approx it'll be approximately 50, uh, 50 to 60 people in each area broken down into a kind of groups of about 15 Right. And then, like a captain, team leader to 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 a group, um, and then they 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 will the, rather than the people rotating, they the groups will ro rotate um, yeah. around the captains and team leaders. Right. Um, but it, that'll be organised extremely well, and they they all the captains will know what they're doing at each time right. to demonstrate so, so something that, and to that build captain, that extra. Part. That captain or team leaders staying with that core design, design element yeah, yeah. for that consistency yeah. and you know obviously they've got yes. their, the mind of, of what they're doing but then they're bringing in new delegates groups um which that's brilliant that i, I like yeah. that concept yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and and the other thing is we nothing's ever been done like this before this this at, at this level it's it is never been tried and it's a live event this this isn't making balloons for the sake of making balloons this is going to be a charitable event for several days yes. and we're just going to raise awareness of give kids the world and allow them to generate awareness and funds so we have to have this finished on the yep. friday afternoon no so pressure. we may need to reallocate people and yes. groups during later in the week where you know one section's going extremely well and another section's not for whatever reason I mean, so if, we can work gets, as a team to create this. If it gets to the point during the week where it looks like you've fallen behind, don't forget, you know, we'll be in the middle of it there to help because we can always shout <laughs> for you to work faster and harder. We can definitely get people to work yeah. faster. It's one of our <laughs> skill sets. I, I, I look forward to that. In, uh, all of our, in all of our years of electronic manufacturing and processes, <laughs> we can get people to work peak efficiencies. Peak. Peak efficiency. I'm, I'm, I'm is, looking to I've see heard. if I can, I can incorporate hula hoops in there somewhere. Hula hoop. Well, what we've got to do is, I've, I've, here's a tip for you, Stu, just to get people to work faster. Yes. If you turn the air conditioning to max, right, so that it gets <laughs> super cold and you tell them, if you work faster, you get warmer. This, That's a this good is, one. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. And that is, That's that is absolute. I tell you what, if I've got that, I'm going to, I think that's there worth you go. one of them. That is a golden nugget right there. <laughs> That is a golden nugget right there. You should have announced it, though. No, we can't do the end of it. can. Um, you can. <laughs> Dios. Uh, she said she'll be waiting for us. We'll be there. No, see, it's gone on there. Oh. <laughs> Got to have an announcement. <laughs> also... Your timing's um, impeccable, guys. Why? <laughs> so Anthony has also said it's also important to mention that those in attendance don't have to work through the night. Oh, there's some downtime, is there? Yes. Yeah. Oh, they, they, most definitely. This, the, you know, um, we we'll be starting building around about eight thirty, and we'll be finishing about five five thirty every day. This this isn't about killing people. This isn't like a competition. Uh, where you work twenty seven hours non stop. Yep. Yeah. For anybody and I, you know, for those that have never been in a competition, that's yeah. what happens. It's, <laughs> yeah. It starts at nine o'clock on a Tuesday morning and finishes midday on the Wednesday. People don't sleep and yeah. then they 
generally don't get involved with the rest of the convention because they're in the hospital burn, or well, they burn you know. themselves out. Yeah, 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 yeah. But totally. So, um, and, and and that's what this, this isn't about. That this is about um, being able to develop your skills, being able to do something amazing, but also getting an aspect of the social element. So, in the evenings, you can mix as teams. I mean, it's, it's um, fairly. Or, you know, I'll put money on it right now that each one of those teams will be talking about the next day yeah. and what they're going to do, how they're going to do it, because they're going to love it and live it for those few days. However, that social element of that, where the doors are closed and locked and you're all out to go for some food, have a bit of a relax yes. and, and mix up some, you know, I think is a brilliant... Except for the twisters. Yeah, because they'll still be Except twisting. Because we know the twisters are going to be twisting in the bar somewhere. Yeah. So, no, <laughs> that never happens. I don't know what you mean. But the fact that it's been spread out and factored in and timed to cover and fit in in those yeah. days is brilliant. Yeah. Rather than saying, let's kill ourselves for two days and you don't yeah. get the best. The end result, guaranteed, would still be fantastic because everyone would give it their absolute all. But their learning won't be as good. No. They're, they're no. kind of... What all the yeah. extra things that they could have got out of the event are lost because they're just, you know, eyes down, concentrating, trying to get the job done. In, anybody that tells me that they can work a hundred percent for fourteen hours in a row is, is lying. It's it's just not possible. You're going to burn yourself out, and that's no good. It, it's not teaching you any good habits. Um, the whole point of this is trying to teach how to organize a build um, within normal kind of working hours um, yeah. and i know it's difficult for us in our uh, industry to do that um but i, I that's something i want to demonstrate this week is it's as important to have the downtime as the time that you're working with the balloons yeah um for, for your own mental health and your own physical health yeah Absolutely. it's also as well as a, from a professional aspect it's it's balancing yeah, the, the absolute passion that we usually find within the balloon industry with the yeah. professionalism of saying, you know, this is, a, it's a long time term thing. You know, you're going to kill yourself if you keep going at that all the time. And it's not exactly. in, in the real world situation. It's not viable to actually go no. like that all the time. Not at all. No, um, so no, definitely that, not. Yeah. And and you can learn as much from other people during the night when you're talking about what happened, how you can do things. You can talk about your business if you want to. You can talk about your kids. It's, 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 it's all going to be good for the, for the evening, for the social side. Um, yeah, and yeah, that I'm as excited about that for people as as that the balloon build itself. Especially coming off the the last year and a half, two years, even more yeah. so. I think it's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, what yeah, um uh, for for the for the delegates going? At what point are they going to see the the vision? You know, are they going to see uh, some sort of master right, plan right. or? They, actually, the only people that are going to see the design are the people who registered, and they'll right. be seeing it as it's developing. Um, you know, the design is not finished at this stage; it's it's in the early stages. You know, the, we only started this project two months ago, um, so it, everything is in the early stages. And I think it'd be exciting to have all the people who are registered on this actually seeing that process of development as they see the pieces building and, yes. and coming together as we are designing them. We'll be posting them onto a, uh, a special group that will just be for those that are registered. And, and we'll be asking for comments and input. You know, at the end of the day, I'm not the ultimate expert in large scale design. You know, someone might see something and actually think, oh, what if you added this there? What if you added yeah. that there? I mean, we're, we, are, we, we are open to those comments. We're strong believers in the best ideas normally come off the back of another idea. Yeah, evolution is key. Yeah. Yeah, evolution so, is everything. Yeah. So yeah, communicate, yeah. yeah. And that's that's what I love about big bills is is it, when something doesn't go right and 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 I and I put my hands up now and say Something's not going to go right during that week. It doesn't matter oh, yeah. how much you design it. It's, it's like being on a job. You, it doesn't matter how much you prepare. Something isn't going to go right. Yeah. But then what you do is you pull everybody in and you say, right, how are we going to overcome this? And that's what the captains and team leaders will do. And we'll have those discussions as a small team. Right, this is what we're going to do. We'll use your idea and your idea, and we'll take that forward over the next two hours. That's right. Communication, collaboration, 
I think cl those kind of words are written behind you are, are absolutely important. Oh yes, uh, absolutely. And necessities within a business. Yeah, and I think also with having that um, that that much more smaller pockets of individuals with the team captains, you're going to catch those errors and little mistakes a lot quicker because as you know, on a big build, if, if something's done incorrectly, it tends to get done on a big scale yeah. and you've only got yeah. so many balloons to work with. You've only got so much time to work with. So having that really strong mechanism for catching those is, yeah. is absolute key. So yes. Just uh, um, Definitely. for people in the chat. Well, yeah. Um, so the thing is, is that being there is going to be the absolute best thing. There's going to be no experience quite like it being there. No. Actually there, there really isn't. I mean, we we know we've been to like we've been been to many 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 events around the world and there's nothing like this uh we've never been to anything like this before however for those people that can't go um q corner will be there and we'll be broadcasting it live all the way not 24 hours a day but as much as we possibly can we'll be broadcasting live we've already been talking with the hotel to make sure that uh, internet connections and everything are exactly as we need them so yeah. that we can bring as much to you guys that can't make it uh, as we possibly can and also if you guys um have us ask us to cover more of this or maybe just go and talk to this person we'll be we'll be doing that we're there for you guys okay but it, the thing is is that there's only 300 spots so i think it's going to sell out and there's going to be a lot of disappointed people unfortunately so don't miss out on it if if you've got the it is, opportunity. It is an hold, event that if, if you it. can't go, you can still follow along with because I think some of the, yeah. the the social media element of this us we are going to be covering. You know we're not broadcasting the classes. We're not broadcast. We're 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 kind of a fly on the wall. Yes. Seeing what's going on, how it's developing. Yes. Seeing how the builds coming. Kind of we're going to be talking to you know obviously yourself, Stuart, and lots of the other captains from their experiences yeah. about it. You know to share that, to, to pick up on some of that. And we certainly, we will, because we think it is as important as well on the the kind of the evening side, we're going to be coming in with the camera around yeah. then as well. Kind of get, when you're a little bit more relaxed and talk, <laughs> Catch about, you yeah, talk about the day, you know, talk about, you know, what went well, you know, some of the things that, you know, and we totally agree. It's when something goes wrong, it's not, you know, going, oh my goodness, it's all gone wrong. The plan's out the window. It's it's yeah. how how to recover from problem that problem solving is a is a really big yes. learning curve, and it's so important. Of you know, we've we've changed designs and adapted for for multiple yeah. reasons. One because we've been you know idiots and not thought about something, or two because things have gone wrong. Time terribly. changes things on you yeah. at the last moment. Three it's... equipment blows up and fires a pin off through all the deco bubbles you have left. True yeah. story. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, somebody's asked, is yeah, there a special I, registration I, I think to watch Keith it on said it. Live? No, no, there's no special registration to watch it live on Q Corner. All you've got to do is um, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss anything. That's was that a Facebook question or a YouTube uh, question? That was a YouTube question. That's right. Anyone watching on Facebook, the majority of live streaming that we will be doing from the event will be on the YouTube channel. We may do something on um the Mr. Q page, too, yeah. however, majority of the content, and it will be easier to find as well because anything that we've done and are doing will be in a playlist, so that will be all there. Yes. So YouTube, come on over and subscribe on there to make sure you don't miss out. But you said something as well, oh, Stuart. No, yeah, just one second as well, just to quickly, because while we're still in chat, um, somebody's asking about online competitions. Yes, watch Very this space, though. Question, we've got loads yes. of ideas. We're actually going to do some hybrid competitions. Yes. You take from that what you will, but we'll we'll, we'll go from there. We're okay. giving away a hybrid car. Right. No, not a hybrid car. Right, Stu. Sorry. You're saying. You're yeah, saying I, I, I think what you were saying about problem solving, it's yeah. it's yes. <laughs> it's going to be an important element within it. Um, you know, things won't go to plan multiple times and multiple teams, and it'll just be you're in that live element, and you'll be supported in actually how to solve these problems as as a group or as a team, yeah. I think is hugely important. And, and and there are going to be so many more um, elements that we haven't talked about that we're going to be de developing over the year. And you mentioned like competitions, et cetera. Um, and with you guys in the thick of it during the day and the night. No um, escape, Stu, no escape. Yeah. No escape, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be putting a uh, chair behind my door at night just to make sure you're not <laughs> going to make a... 
make like, sure that we're not already in the room when you do that. <laughs> so it, check, check the rooms, rooms clear. <laughs> check the rooms for clear yeah. first. <laughs> that, that, that kind of worries me. But, we might be yeah. pretending to be a vampire hiding behind a curtain Whoa. or something. Uh, you, know, uh, <laughs> you never know. True story. <laughs> <laughs> True story. No, but, you know, I know we talk about the problems and stuff, and it sounds like, you know, it's not organized or something, but it's not. Things in the real world, oh, when, you tra- when you transition from, you know, pen on paper to real elements with people and how all those things interact, you know, product availability, we don't know at that exact time, you know, oh, that's going to take a little bit more. And that percentage increase of balloon, then means you don't have yeah. enough. These things happen and it's how you amend the design or tweak tweak yeah. the product. Oh, they're brilliant learning curves. Oh, and the fact that you can learn on a big scale, which is where those problems are amplified, you know, yeah. they just are the worst they really are. And those challenges, and like you say, talking through those and having those conversations, I think are going to be an exceptional um, thing to learn at an event like this. Yep. Yeah. And we've also got, um, we're going to, premium balloon accessories are going to be there. We All the equipment that we're going to be using is premium balloon accessories. And we can course. actually have Evan and Chase Nelson uh, from premium balloon accessories. Oh, that's, that's, who are going to be two of our captains. Yeah. And they were actually trained by LaDonna. So, well, um, the other thing as well, Stu, is just on the back of that, uh, we were yeah. talking to Chase um, not long before this went live, and we've just secured he's coming on the show um, this next, next Wednesday show? on the next oh, Q So yes. he's going to be he's live on guy. the show there. And we're going to have a bit Evan's of a Evan's better, though. Evan's the better one. Yeah, but <laughs> we'll, we'll, deal with, we'll deal with Chase. That's fine. Um so uh, um, so he's going to be on there and he's going to be going through um, the equipment that we're going to be yep. using um, during the build and also special offers yep. uh, as well. Yep. So you don't want to miss uh, that one. Anyway. I'm, going to, I'm going to say one thing about those two guys, Chase and Evan, and, and you know, they, they're a major part of premium balloon accessories, but they were actually trained by La Do- Donna Belcher on how to use balloons. And when I was working on the um, the welcome event, I designed a welcome event for the World Balloon Convention in 2018. Chase and Evan were amazing. They, they, they didn't need to, but when things weren't happening right on, on my build, I just asked them, can you get this? Can you get that? They were, they, they, they are balloon people. They are, yes. They're passionate about balloons um, and they want to hear what people say about their machines. And, it's for them to be able to make the best machines for us. They, they're excellent. They're not yeah. a bad bunch. It's a nice family business as well. So they're not a bad bunch. <laughs> yeah. They're all right. <laughs> they're all right. <laughs> uh, so Anthony yes. Lena says, premium balloon accessories for the win. Um, true. Jason says, I have a question. You have many questions, Jason. Please ask away and we will continue to answer them as best as we can. Uh, Luke got- has to go and do some work, apparently. Apparently, Innes has uh, called, called him. <laughs> <laughs> so Luke has to go back yes. and do some work. So, yes, don't miss out on our next show next Wednesday. And we'll have Chase on. So that'll be good. Yep, yep. Chase is going to be on there. All and I think we're going to be dealing questions. with, we're going to actually try and get on as many of the team captains and maybe even some of uh, the volunteers. You say uh, there was some volunteers. we got some volunteer team leaders who will be announcing that team. Um in the next either tomorrow or early next week yeah Fantastic. and they'll sure. be supporting uh, the captains and they th- that's an amazing experience bunch of people we've got where, there as well where will people be able to get that information from that'll be on the balloon wonderland facebook page right um, sure. and it'll be not posted already. in the next couple of days okay so if Fine. you're not already um if you haven't already liked up that page get yourself over onto facebook and check out balloon wonderland in fact um, let me see about putting the link in. Go on, you do that. Uh, yes. Into the chat. Because that's where I've been science. following along, getting my information. So, so do those guys already know? And they just haven't said yet. Is that right? So, do they? They, they know. They haven't said. And it, do we, the the criteria that I set was I wanted um, extremely experienced individuals, but I also wanted people that are that are just great, genuine people. That you know, they're supportive. They're great fun to be around. They, they are names people rejected. will know. That's why we got no. Yeah. Then. Okay. No, their names, their name, their names are no people are known and loved within the industry. So, right. so they're sitting now behind Facebook. So obviously, going, it's not you and that's what we said. That's what we did get donkeys. picked. <laughs> Harsh. But they'll be sitting there excited now, going, "Oh, I can't wait to tell everybody." 
Yeah. Yes. So do they, do they make up part of the 300 delegates as well, do they? No, no, no. no. So they're part of the team. The, we, the actual team that we've got with the Pioneer staff, we're talking about 60. Um, right. Okay. So we got the 24 captains. We'll have 24 team leaders. And then there's 10 Pioneer staff who are going to be running the logistics of the event during the yep. week as well. And then you two guys. Of course. Exactly. And us as well. Yes, absolutely. Trying to keep morale. So that's great. Up. So, that's so, our job. But that's really with good. The morale then. officers. Yes. So that's keeping yeah. 300 spaces for, for delegates. Yes. Um, yes. So that, that's absolutely fantastic. 300 spaces. Brilliant. That's not eating into any spaces whatsoever. No. Awesome. That's pretty cool. It is. It's awesome. Yeah. And then that goes live tomorrow. Yep. And um, for those that didn't see the video yesterday, we're not going to go through the theme because Stu did a, an amazing job yesterday going through it. So if you um, haven't seen what theme it's actually going to be, get yourself over onto that link that's in the chat on both sides for the... Uh, oh, and we've got a question that we're going to come back to. But you can get yourself over there to have a look at the video that Stu put out yesterday. So, yeah, the Facebook... Um, for the, the page. Uh, yes, for the theme. But Billy, who is one of the, is Billy part of the oh, team? Oh, hang on a second. Is he on there? And is is it? Is it we're going to steal him. We're going to steal that fella. Hashtag Billy broke the internet. <laughs> yeah, we, we're going to steal Billy. I think. Uh, a couple of people have asked uh, me who's going to designate who goes to what team captain. We um, do. We do. Q Corner get to allocate all spaces. <laughs> um, all all dollars. I mean, all requests need no. So, uh, Billy, it was we, we talked about it earlier, but Stu, I'm sure you're happy to mention it again, how the how people are going to be designated to which team captain. Yeah, so the, they, they're not going to be designated to one team captain. Um, so you'll be uh, allocated into a group, and then the group will move around several team captains. So you'll swap uh, captains and team leaders from uh, after morning to afternoon, and then the next day you'll be with somebody different. So you'll be moving around different skill sets. Um, as you you're creating the build and Perfect. different builds as well, right? Well, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. which so is which is great because you, you're gonna have you're gonna have your fingers in lots of pies. And that, that's that's the thing, yeah. you know. It's just got it's yeah. such a massive build. You want to say, oh, I did a bit of the boat, or I did a bit of this, and I did, I did this, that, and yeah. I did this, and also you'll take the, those skills back with you because you've practiced Definitely. them. It's not the, it's not the case of just watching. You know, I mean, classes are great and everything. We love education. But it's very different when you are taught a skill and then you get to practice it, practice it, practice it, practice it, practice it, and yeah. create that mental memory yeah. so that when you go home, you've got those skills for the rest of and, your balloon yeah. career. And something, as you've said, you know, quite rightly, that this is a, a build for something. Yes. Because I think we all love making something for someone rather than just yeah. making it. So the fact that what it's going for and why we're doing it is brilliant. So when you're making it, it's got a recipient at the end. Yes. So there's just yes. a bit more love that goes into it yeah. that, that just makes it well, yeah, it's, it's, that's going to be, you know, that's going to be emotional as well because on the Friday we'll be gifting it. And when I say we, I mean the 300 delegates, the captains, the team leaders, we'll be gifting it to the charity. Um, and to be able to see people using it and getting huge enjoyment out of it. Um, yeah, it definitely. But going back one step, I, I'm I'm a massive advocate of people having a broad range of balloon skills. I think um, you know, not having that broad range of skills allows you to take a technique and incorporate it into a, another area. So this is going to be an event for twisters. This is going to be an event for decorators. This is going to be an event for retailers. This is going to be an event for crafters. You know. If, yeah. if you see a skill as being just centerpieces, you'll be able to bring a skill set and work it in this, most definitely. Yeah. I think it's but very you're good. going to learn and really be able to hone some new techniques as well as old techniques yeah. whilst, mean, you're, whilst well, you're there for the week. We're much the same. You know, we don't like to teach a design. We like to teach a technique. Yeah. The design is a yes. byproduct of the technique, absolutely. And I think a very good point there is some people may look at this event and go, you know what? I don't do big decor like this. I don't do big large scale events. I'm much more a you know a retail or a, a you know a smaller events company, and, yeah. and that's fine. But absolutely, the techniques and thought processes and the build sequences of this event is going to give you something, if not loads of things, to take back and go. 
I can add that to my business. And just on the marketing but, side as well. Just, oh, yeah. just imagine that. I mean, beyond oh, that. And, and on the marketing, we go the Saturday. So, you know, yeah. it's... But, but just, just a quick point on that. Anne McGovern is going to be one of the captains there. And Anne's renowned for her centerpiece work. Yes. You know, yes. she does some amazing, She's okay. beautiful centerpiece <laughs> work. And and some people might say, well, well, what's Anne McGovern going to be doing in a, a big build? We're going to take those centerpiece skills, so, you know, the, the additional elements, and we're going to enhance them yeah. and then multiply them by 100. It's, it's taking throughout, details, throughout you know. Yeah. Sometimes when you build, when you build just big things. By the way, sorry, one second. Uh, that's that's for Anthony. There you go, buddy. He said there's going to be millions of golden nuggets. That's um, right. And actually, while we're on, if, if Anne's watching, uh, yes, I think your centerpieces are fantastic. I truly do. I love you. And I really like the bagels that you brought me when we were in New York. <laughs> and if they could, you know, if they could find their way to me at that event, that would be awesome. <laughs> Hashtag bagel. Yeah. But yeah. it is, it's, it's taking those little details and, and you know, it's applying just, those sort of thoughts and that. It's the same thing. Onto you know, that. It's I, like Jackie, right? Jackie's known for her twisting and, and yeah. the small, the, like the mini marquee designs and things that she does and things. And it's like, yeah. how do you blow that up to that sort of, yeah. you, know, you know, to that I'm really sort of interested in seeing. I think it's an amazing team. I think it's an Some of the, the different thoughts and how you know how how they're brought into these. I'm looking forward to seeing what the end result will be. And I do think as a delegate to see that process and be part of that group as well, to follow yeah. that journey along is going to be an experience yeah. in itself. Yes. Uh, you know, one, said... of, one of the critical things that we're going to be doing, guys, is looking at the principle and elements of design. And you know, I want even though this is going to be a this isn't about building one big thing. Um, like in a competition piece. This isn't, you know, about decorating a room. This is about creating an immersive world where everything fits. There's unity and harmony in everything we do. So yeah. the, the the captains that we've got are critical to be able to enable us to do that so yeah. that it's not just round balloons. It's not just twisted balloons. It's bringing in the elements of all the balloon world that we see and, and, and building it into a larger scale design. Yeah. Because you've got to avoid the um, it looking like a competition room where when you look at each of those individual competition pieces, which are magnificent, yeah. if you look at yeah. the room, the room isn't necessarily... Well, it's not. Th that it's, it's very... It, it's got this part. It's, it's all modular yeah. of different design, which is what it's meant to be for. It's more like a gallery. Yeah. Yes. It's like a gallery. Um, but what you're trying to achieve here is something quite, quite a challenge, I'd say, to make sure that they all all flow into one and that you know that we 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 talk about it as a font you know like you've got a different font of a text and yes and you, you can't just keep changing fonts in a document because it just doesn't look correct it needs to flow yeah. yes yes yeah. It, it, yeah everything will need to flow into the next element and if anybody's seen the themes there there are some wild and crazy themes in this wonderland <laughs> yes, and each one is. will need to flow yes, the flow is. in it is going to be a true wonderland. i was listening to you yes. when you were announced now i'm thinking Okay, he's writing a check. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope you can cash it. We'll be it's there like to help. Christmas. Yeah. It's... What are you going to do? Everything. 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 <laughs> Everything. It's absolutely, it looks incredible. I mean, uh, we were looking at some of the stuff from, the, um, from the, the design brief as well and looking at some of the inspiration ideas and things that are, and it's absolutely, uh, it's I saw, going to be truly amazing. I, well, really, actually, yesterday as well, I saw your product order you put in for it as well. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, it was a three hundred fifty thousand. Well, no, no, it was just the he got the catalog and said all of them. <laughs> Can I have uh, please? Yes. Can I have ten of all of them? Yeah. So yeah, it, it's it. We're not building for the sake of building. We we are going to be. There's going to be three hundred people going away from this, um, learning a huge amount more. Yes. There's going to be tens of thousands of balloon artists who are going to be able to watch much of what we've done through you two guys yeah. that are going to learn huge things about how to do big scale um, design. But one of the things that I do want to, to show people is how the principles and elements of design help from centerpieces to larger scale pieces to full rooms, you know, yes. and, and getting that harmony and unity between all the designs. Um, so yeah, we, the range of specialisms we got from our twisters, our crafters, our decorators, 
you know, we, we really we really got it all there. I was also thinking as well, you know, we talk about the 300 delegates going and the opportunity that they're going to have and the social media element they're going to have, from, yeah. which is fantastic. And then obviously from uh, our point of view, trying to showcase so all the other people in our community can kind of follow along. But actually, you know what, from a social media point of view, they can use this to sell themselves. Oh, as in, because they're selling the industry, they're saying our industry, our community, does events like this yes we we can take a team of people that have never worked together before and organize ourselves into a non-competitive you know that we're colleagues in this yeah. we just got together or met before in a room and produce something on this scale using as you've said all the principles and elements which is what we've learned it's what the cba yeah. program is all part of it's why we have yeah. the cba network so having this you can sell your business off the back of this as well. So it's such a good opportunity. Um, just as a point that somebody put it in the chat, uh, Anthony, again, thank you. Um, yeah, people can take the CBA exam at this event. I think there's slots. That's where for, my brain was going. Yeah, 50 spots, I think, is the only thing. It's 50 spots only to maximum of people taking their CBA So you have to be exam. a delegate, right? You have to be a delegate, And yeah. at the point of booking, that's when you choose to at do registration, that, I, I believe. Yeah, yeah. You, you book your slot yeah. on the CBA so at you the point don't, of registration. You, so you must, it's not something like some of the other events we have, where you can book uh, you know, a delegate spot, then have a bit of a think, no. then choose, oh, I'm going to do my CBA. You must do it at the point of signing up. So today's the day to decide you're going to do your CBA. Because yeah. you've got time to do it. There are people that can help you prepare for it. So don't worry about that. And what an opportunity to yeah. do your CBA if, at this yeah. event. If you are going to do your CBA at this event as well, get in touch with Q Corner. And we have some videos already about the CBA exam, and we'll do our best to help out. And we've got we've got a um, a gold mine of resources within Q Corner, and also um, with the very best balloon blog by Sue Bola. Um, but we can point you in the right direction for that. Get in touch with us Absolutely. if you need any help and if you or, are or worry not, about it or thinking about it. That's right. And if you're not CBA and you're thinking about going to this event, this is a really good time to do it because all that extra knowledge that you're going to pick up about what we've been talking about there, Stuart. You know the principles and yeah. elements. They're going to be there fresh in your mind for this event Definitely. yeah because yes. it makes you yeah. you'll be living it and breathing it so when you get to this you'll be able to put yeah. real world application in like we've been talking about of what you've learned about the cba program about all of that good stuff and actually go yeah it works this uh, makes sense the, the other thing that i was going going to go back to as well um is about the the marketing side it's like um Recently, a little bit in the in the media, uh, the balloon industry has been getting a bit of a bashing, right? So this is the perfect time for a good news story about you know this massive thing that we're doing and the charity, the amazing charity. Uh, Billy actually does; he's he lives in uh, Orlando and uh, he works with that charity. And he said it's the it's one of the best. Um, best charities that he's ever worked for. He says they're amazing. So to actually be able to do this with those guys as well, uh, I think it's going to be brilliant. And I think the new story is going to go, f it's going to reach far, far further than, than just within the balloon industry itself. I think it's going to be a great yes. good news message yeah. about balloons. The, the, to get out there. the village is in, the village is in Orlando. And, um, you know, it, we are, in some ways, we are lucky to be able to get them as a partner. They are that big a charity. They've, they've had children from 72 countries um, come to them. Every state in America, 176,000 children have been there since 1995, you know, critically ill and terminally ill children. And they make a huge difference to their lives. They give them hope. Um, and one of the things, though, what, what, what we want to do with this Balloon Wonderland is give inspiration to the balloon artists as well and show that link between positivity towards your community and to your business. And on the Saturday, Keith, the Saturday morning, uh, myself and Liz Romani are going to be running uh, a course on how to make the best out of this event. And we've actually got a special speaker, Pamela Landworth, who's the CEO of Give Kids the World. And she's worked for Disney and several other major companies. You know. Who, she works on a weekly basis with a board of directors that have got the, the CEOs of Universal, Disney, SeaWorld, Hasbro, and she's working with these guys. She yeah. knows how to sell a business. Yeah. I think that's um, a very interesting. So she's going to be uh, talking to all the, the the 
the people who registered about how they can use this opportunity to promote themselves and their business when they go back yeah. home. Yes, it- absolutely. And then after that, is there anything else? That's and happening? then after that, there's some two guys from Geordie Land. In- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get the, the letting us loose guys. Um, we're right. going to do something uh, along oh, with, it's going to be a collab. Yes, we've got Cam and Evie with us as well. Yeah, so, so we're, we're going to have a Q Corner meets Happy Hour. Let's see how so, that collaboration exactly. works. Exactly. We're going to have a Q Hour yes. or a Happy Corner or something like that. I do believe, like though, is when you sign up for it, you get to, you can tell uh, on the booking about doing the extra day with the classes at the end. Now, I have to say, yeah. that there's going to be... it's an It is an absolute no-brainer, folks. It really is. Because, I mean, our class is going to be uh, fun, guaranteed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've um, got, you've got we Cam Woody, going... you've got Evie Antonello, <laughs> and you've got us two. Um, We're going to send you home There's going to be smile. energy. Let's but, say there's going to be energy. <laughs> but we have put it in yeah. our diary to come to your class because... One of the things that we teach out, and it's something that we are very, very passionate about, is that working with a charity is something that is very good for your business. Yes. You know, and we, do, we don't shy away from it. And I think some people kind of have a, a bit of a worry about it and, yep. you know, thinking, oh, yeah. you know, I shouldn't be taking advantage of the charity. No, no, there's a very positive way of working with a, a good charity. And we don't gauge a charity on its in, being good just because of, the nature of what they do, but actually how well they're organized and how well they advertise and look after themselves and all that good stuff. I think, you know, you guys having that conversation and bringing in this guest speaker is absolutely amazing. You know, that's a... Sure, she's got a best... She's got a best-selling book um, on how she um, supports businesses to um, develop their corporate responsibilities and their, their social responsibilities and how that actually makes a massive impact on their bottom line. Mm-hmm. Now, she's going to take the, that book and present it to how smaller businesses like balloon businesses can do this. Yes. And so not just using the balloon wonderland, but actually having a legacy going from this where you'll be able to take those skills and develop something within your area that's going to help uh, a charitable business, but also is going to support you. And there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with doing that, promoting your business through a charity. It, it, it you know, I've I worked it, through it I think in it's the charity of my life. The opposite way around. There's everything good about it because it allows you to do more. Yeah. Yes, well, that's that, that's yeah. been our view right from the, from the beginning. Is if you can be a profitable and successful company that can give back to charity, but can build on that then you can do yes. more. Yeah. And, it, and it's a self-building. Absolutely. It's the win-win situation yeah. that we always talk and about. The, the other thing is the, the ticket price for the entire week is possibly what you would have to pay to go and see Pamela Landworth talk. Yes. Um, <laughs> you know, so as a best-selling author. Yeah. So you're going to get that as a bonus for free. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Like I said, the, um, I think the by, Saturday classes are a bit of a no-brainer for me. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, I, yeah. I, I think I can't remember there's that much information, but I do believe that the CBA you have to sign up for at the point, and I think you can indicate that you're going to go to the class as well, unless that was something that was happening after you got there. I might be wrong on that one. Uh, I think you write on the first option. Okay. I think you can indicate on the register. So if you sign up as a delegate and there's an option for the classes, I highly recommend it but we'll find out tomorrow because tomorrow is the it could day be live that oh, the way the, there tomorrow's the day that registration opens and yep. it, you say it was 8 a.m yeah. cst 8 a.m cst yeah and it is think, fixed yeah absolutely there's no more spaces except for what's been released that's it done. yeah yeah and and get yeah. on board as quick as you can because as soon as you're on board, the more input you can have with the rest of it, you're going to find out all the information regarding the design side, um, and you're going to be able to input right from the the the, the ground floor. Yeah, which is awesome. Yeah. Have you got anything else to add? To we're that? We, to we've, it. we've been on. Uh, we were expecting this to be a 15 minute conversation, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, though, it's all really good stuff. Though it's it's all exciting. It's a brilliant event. It's a fantastic yes. project, and. There's, there's a, quite a few questions from people because they're excited about it. So I think it's really good that we've got this platform that, you know, you can share that process. And, and I, I am looking forward to seeing how it develops. I am um, genuinely excited. Uh, again, we'll say that again. It goes, um, it's 8 a.m. CST when it goes live for the registration tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow. That is the 1st of we're, October. We're like, what, what, so we're, what, how long is that away from now? It's uh, like 12, not, 13 hours. Not a, yeah, not a long time. 13 hours from now. 
13 hours it will be live uh, and there's only 300 spots guys uh, Felicia uh, we could not agree anymore it really does sound so amazing the more information that we get about this event the more excited uh, we are about being being uh, blessed enough to be part of it we're I really was out. in it not yeah. working all night <laughs> <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah <laughs> But no, from from our point of view, though, we've we've made sure that our time is there to make sure that we don't miss anything. Yes. Because um, quite often, some of the events we go to, we're doing a bit of half and half. So we're doing, you know, we, we do a bit of Q Corner coverage, but we've got a lot of other responsibilities of yeah. a class and, um, you know, a bill to do. And for this one, we've we've done it where we are going only to make sure that we can share as much as we and possibly the class can. The yeah, that that's different. We're also as well as that, um, we're, we're trying to we're, we're trying to work our way to possibly popping out of the uh, convention center and popping over to the charity's headquarters. That's not what well. you told me. You said so universal. We shall see. We shall see if we manage <laughs> to pull that one off, and um, we'll, we might be able to do a broadcast. I from think we there. need to take some tissues though, because I don't think there's going to be any dry highs in this house. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, no. absolutely. No. Not on the Friday, I don't think. I think no. that's going to be an emotional day. Yeah. There's no thinking um, about it, Stuart. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. is. It's going to be incredible. It it's going to be going fantastic. To be all, all good stuff. So we're looking forward to hearing more. And I'm sure at some point as we progress, we'll try and get you back on again, Stuart. We know you're busy with it, but yeah, definitely. As it's progressing, I know that, um, especially obviously the delegates, but they're going to kind of get to see bits that's going on as well but if there's anything yeah. or further information or even just talking about how it's well going. hopefully you know i might be able to give you some sneak information um Perfect. to give out to people our words Q, to Q our Corner readers. watchers love a bit of sneaky information yeah it's the, the love a bit of sneaky information no pressure <laughs> <laughs> right i think we'll let this young man go yes thank you very much thank you and thank guys you time, thank you for joining in on the chat you can ask questions afterwards as well. And obviously, you can check out the Facebook page, The Balloon Wonderland. The link is in the chat a little bit further up. Next Wednesday, we have Chase Nelson from Premium Balloon Accessories going to be live on the show next Wednesday, talking a little bit about um, the equipment that they're using and also some special deals that's going to be on there. Um, for we've, we've, only, we've got him down for five minutes. That's all he's got time for because he's got to fly off to another event as well. Yes. And uh, yeah. But until then, we shall see you on the next show. Say bye-bye to this, man. Goodbye, Stuart. Bye-bye. Bye for now. Bye, lads. Cheers, buddy. Bye. Cheers, guys. Be safe. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.